Notice I haven't said anything about the business relationship between the cloud and the person using the cloud. And that's because there's another definition, which is clouds as a business model. And yes, clouds can be considered a business model. Props for anybody who laughs at the Arrested Development shot. Um, in this model, clouds are a utility. They're simply a tap you can turn on and off when you need them. And that's great because it means that as a user, I can add value to my business without spending time doing unnecessary things like managing the um, machines themselves and uh, starting them and stopping them and, man and, and manipulating them. I can just run this stuff and I can focus on my business because the clouds take care of themselves. It's someone else's problem. Um, cloud computing is also great because I don't need to do the things I don't want to do. A lot of that stuff, dragging around servers and manipulating things is no fun. Kind of like uh, emptying the toilets at the top of Yosemite is no fun. I go to long lengths to get uh, interesting pictures for these presentations. Um, and the other reason that this stuff's likely to do really well is because the cloud providers have a tremendous amount of infrastructure. Uh, Microsoft and others have been very cagey about just how many machines they have. However, a website um, recently found in a promotional video Microsoft have released that one of the screenshots in their video shows you the over 30,000 servers in one of their data centers. So if you're not thinking in terms of shipping containers full of servers, if you're not thinking in terms of can I build my data center next to a power plant, you're probably not going to be able to compete with a third-party public cloud provider. And that's because you might have your IT server costs today and you do all the technology stuff I told you about. You automate things, you virtualize them, you get tons of efficiencies out of that, right? Now you have one machine instead of 10 and that's great. Now you have the sort of cost model of private clouds. The problem is there's still all these efficiencies you get from just negotiating better power costs or building your data center next to a dam that's where the public clouds are gonna make their money. So a lot of private IT people are threatened by the public cloud world because they have these tremendous cost efficiencies. And so there are a lot of concerns, some legitimate, some not, about the loss of security and loss of control when you move things into a cloud. WikiLeaks moved into Amazon and then Amazon shut them down. Now, wherever you stand on the politics of that, Amazon shut them down because they were a third party service provider. That terrifies a lot of companies who say, wait, I can just be shut down because someone writes a letter to someone and I'm not there? Um, so there are a lot of debates about the governance of the cloud and, and this, but they're business model and business relationship debates. So there's a lot of reasons why people might not move into the clouds, things like security. In the cloud world, um, this means that what's going to happen is you're going to have some private stuff that you run on your own, on your own machines where they need to be, some virtual machines, some private clouds that is that cloudy technology, uh, some virtual private cloud stuff, some infrastructure as a service. We got virtual machines that belong to someone else like Amazon, some platform as a service stuff where you write some code and you just give it to Google and they run it, uh, and then a bunch of services. And most IT professionals won't be switching to the cloud magically overnight. They're going to have a spectrum of services like this with lots of good GUI technology to manage things across them and connect all these pieces and send bytes back and forth. So the IT world got very complicated because now you've got a whole bunch of different relationships and you've got a whole bunch of different technologies that are things that this IT manager is going to have to deal with.